History and heritage sweep across Scotland from Highlands to Lowlands, from Orkney to the Hebrides. Centuries-old castles and ancient ruins dot the land, evidence of a past that encompassed internal conflicts as much as struggles against invaders, including Norse kings as much as the English. Glens and bends are the order of the day for the Scottish outdoors are simply stunning. The highest mountain of the British Isles is to be found here, Ben Nevis, as well as some of the most dramatic coastlines you're likely to encounter. In this video, we explore the most charming small towns in Scotland. We've collected a list of the top charming small towns in Scotland, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number one, Tobermory. The colorful shops and restaurants of Tobermory on the Isle of Mull are famous for being featured on children's television show Ballamory, among other things. You can see why. They look incredibly picturesque against the green trees, glassy black water, and often gray sky. There's lots to do in town, with the Tobermory Museum, an aquarium, and the Tobermory Single Malt Whiskey Distillery to visit. Otherwise it's perfect as a base to explore this island of the Inner Hebrides. Number 2, Stromness. Situated on the mainland the largest of the Orkney Islands this town is all about rugged coastal charm, with brownstone buildings huddled down by the choppy sea. First recorded in the 16th century as the site of an inn, Stromness became important in the next century as a port due to war with France encroaching on the English Channel. Its pier houses the very comprehensive Pier Arts Gallery, with a lot of 20th century art on show. Less than 20 minutes drive north is Scarabray, a Neolithic site predating both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids. Number 3, Pittenweem. Trade with Belgium and the Netherlands influenced the very pretty style of the houses in Pittenweem, with their white walls and red roofs. One of the most active fishing village in this area of Fife, it became even more busy from 1982 when the village launched its first arts festival, which is now one of the best loved in Scotland. In 2013, over 25,000 turned up almost 25 times its population. The winding alleys of this picturesque place also brim with history. An abbey dating from 1318 stands over a sacred cave associated with St. Philan. Number 4, Portree. The largest town on the largest island of the Inner Hebrides. Portree is very attractive with its pastel-colored houses and harbor fringed by cliffs with a pier designed by Thomas Telford to boot. The town is perfectly situated as a gateway to the rocky scenery of the Trotternish Peninsula, one of Scotland's 40 national scenic areas. Nearby to the famous landmark the Old Man of Store, as well as for exploring the rest of Skye. The Arrows Centre at Portree celebrates Skye's Gaelic culture. There are a fair few speakers of the language on the island. Number 5. Portnehaven. Pretty Portnehaven is a planned village built in the 19th century. Its little white houses are detailed round the windows with different colors, feeling warm and cozy set amidst the rugged scenery. Its harbor is sheltered and as such attracts gray seals, who have been known to pop in for a spot of sunbathing on the rocks. This is also a haven for birdwatchers, shearwaters, petrels, gannets and ox can be in abundance in autumn. The remote setting alone, however, with dramatic waves crashing against the shoreline, is attractive enough by itself. Number 6, Killen. Situated at the western end of Loch Tay, scenic Killen is in a prime position for Highlands exploration. It's set very near the raucous falls of Dockhart, which you can see from a stone bridge that crosses the wild white water. The famous McNabb clan were dominant here there's a prehistoric stone circle in the grounds of their old seat of power, Kinnell House. And you can find their family burial ground on Inchby, an island in the river Dockhart. To the north of town are the ruins of 17th century Finlerig Castle. Number 7, Plockton. This small village began life as a planned community based on fishing, an attempt to stem emigration from the highlands. As such, most of the houses are 19th and 20th century. But its location is very attractive, 
though on the west coast Plotten faces east, giving it a mild climate and allowing quaintly out-of-place cabbage tree palms to grow here. The town was popular with 20th century art collective the Edinburgh School and continues to attract artists today. Number 8. Tarbert. Pastel-colored buildings, shops, pubs, and the atmospheric ruins of 13th century Tarbert Castle make this little town a slice of aesthetic joy on the isthmus that links the Kintyre Peninsula to Napdale. Mentioned as far back as 731 AD, Tarbert was previously known as the place where ships and boats could be carried across the relatively narrow strip of land to avoid going all the way round the Mall of Kintyre. For walkers, hikers and runners alike, this is the starting point of the 100-mile Kintyre Way, which encompasses the landscape of this incredible peninsula. Number 9. Fort Augustus Fort Augustus lies at the southwest end of the most famous of all lochs, Loch Ness. This second largest of Scotland's lochs draws tourists from far and wide a few in the hopes of actually spotting the cryptozoological Nessie. Aside from taking a cruise on Loch Ness itself, learning about Highlands culture at the Clansman Center, or checking out the 19th century abbey, it's the natural setting in an attractive area of the Scottish Highlands that Fort Augustus enjoys which make this an albeit well-trodden charmer of a town. At last in the list, number 10, St. Andrews. Luthuf St. Andrews is most well known for being the location of the third oldest university in the English-speaking world and the place of higher education for the British royal family the town is an attraction in itself, with historic sites dotted throughout its streets. On the coast there's the spectacular clifftop ruins of 13th century St. Andrews Castle, complete with dungeons and secret passageways. And further inland there's the 18 acres of sculpted nature at the botanical gardens. Elsewhere there's the now ruined 12th century cathedral the largest church ever to built in Scotland. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite most charming small towns in Scotland. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.